Hello, kids. All right. So, double upload as promised. This is the tutorial. Um, let's talk about base and sub base. Um, I've mentioned this before. I think previously in a video, but I didn't really explain it. Um, so sneak peek time. Sneaky peeky. I'm about to show you. I'm about to. I'm going to show you a hip hop track I'm working on for for the album. Um, and what what I have done in this track, right? So this is a sneak peek and a half, guys. So yeah, basically, what I've done. Okay, so I've got I've got bass here, right? It's a simple. It's only a hip hop beat. It's simple. I don't have to get too crazy. Remember that in hip hop, you don't have to have all these crazy layers and stuff because people focus on the vocals. But you do need the low end, right? 808 sub bass, you know, is popular. But what I have done for this track, this is the bass here. Can I hear that? Yep. That is not... Uh, that's not like a sub bass or anything. It's literally just a preset where you've got the bass. And um, let me show you. I think it's in this one. FL plugin, bases. There's so many you could choose from, you know. But, um, and I, I use just a preset for that, and, or you could, you know, I've done this before, but I'll show you again. You can go into any plugin. So, you know what? I'll even just use 3x Oscar. Right? You can just pick a saw wave, turn this one off, right? Pick a saw wave. Drop them down two octaves. And you got low end, that's really, really high. Like that. You can just cut out the, the high ends and stuff like that. Um, oops. I had the wrong one selected. <laughs> you know, and you can just cut out the highs. Um, boost it with a sausage fattener or whatever. Um, which I think what I've done here, right? So I've got the preset, got it in 35, and I've just just got the EQ bumping up the low end at about 100 hertz, maybe even a bit lower. And you could even then cut it out at about 100, and then everything that you don't want with a sub bass, you cut at a, just above about 100, maybe about 102, 105, you cut it, you know? But for essentially, you know, and then boost a little bit with the sausage fattener. And let's take a listen, right? It sounds nice. I, I don't have to add a sub bass to it, you know? And it sounds really nice. Ready? One, two, three, go. You see what I mean? And it sounds really good. Um, you could, so what I tend to do a lot in drops like for dubstep 2, I can have my melody with this type of bass with a preset, or I can just make a saw wave, drop a saw wave, um, you know, uh, do it in Harmer as well. See what I mean? And you can obviously drop, like, cut the high ends out of that because they were really sharp, stuff like that. But they're really simple things to do. Um, and what I like to do a lot of the time, so instead of, or you could, you know, use this like a sub bass with this and actually make a sub bass with a sine wave or an 808. But you know, I, I love to do that. So, or even sometimes I'll have the bass at the start of the song, right? For example. And then when the beat actually drops, I change them to a sub bass and I just replace it with a sub bass. So I'll show you exactly what I mean. Um, I've got it here, sub bass, right. I think it goes, oh, I think it goes F, then it goes A, then it goes D, I think. So 
so I'll show you. Did I put that in hats? Oh my god. Copy. Paste. Find hats. No, okay. So whatever. And then, so example. On that further apart. Hold up. There we go. F A Bang Bang. So example, I sometimes then like to have so like I said I'll have a base, like a preset for another base before the actual sub base kicks in. So then sub base. So you, you guys sort of see, like, you can sort of get me what I'm trying to do. So, and then you just have to obviously mix accordingly, make the two mix together, and you can get really nice sounds, and it's just simple little things that are going to change your beat up, you know. Um, and you can do that in dubstep too, guys. Like, I've done it before in dubstep, where it's the same thing. Essentially, you just have a different basses at different parts. So obviously, you have the sub bass for the drop. But in the melody, you don't have to have a sub bass, so it's not just all so muddy. And especially if you're not good at mixing low end yet, you know, getting minimizing sub bass can help clean the mix up because sub bass can be very messy if not done properly. So you can do that. Um, and if someone tells you you can't do this technique, you can just tell them that Friendly Fire said to go yourself because you can do whatever you want in music. There's no right or wrong way to do music. So I've been doing this for, you know, and I think it sounds cool. And for this song, I probably won't add a sub bass because I don't need it. Like, this bottom end's there. Like, see what I mean? It's just about, you know, getting creative, mix and matching, swapping things out for different things. And um, you can come up with some pretty good ideas. So I just wanted to explain that. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, so just different techniques of low end. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy that one. And let me know if you give this technique a try. Eh? I want to hear it. So, yeah. Peace out, dudes.